having a Maritron AL811H, as you can see in the background. And I'm going to do a mini review of it and show you how it tunes up. But I do want to sell it. Now, why would I want to sell it? It works fine. Why would I want to sell it? Look what's below it, a TL922, a Kenwood TL922. There's no sense in having two linear amplifiers. And in fact, I have three linear amplifiers. And I don't need three linear amplifiers because you can hook them up in parallel. But I'm going to show you a little bit of how it all works. Well, the 811H is now in standby, and we can see how much power it is also it is using in standby. Right now, it's using 150 watts in standby. Now we're going to tune it up, and we put the transmit button in operate. Nothing lights up because we haven't keyed up anything. Right now, I'm going to drive it with just five watts of power from a Flex 5000A. And I'm going to key it up and we'll see what we have. And right now, with just 5 watts of power, we are putting out about 40 watts. We're putting out about 40 watts. We'll look at the uh, RF meter, and there that is. And we're consuming about 400 watts to do it. Not very efficient right now. But I didn't show you how to tune it up, so uh, we, here's how you would normally tune it up. You look at the manual to see where you're going to place the load and where you're going to place the plate. Well, the manual does is a little bit off on how my particular antenna is set up, so I'm just going to tune the load off a little bit. I'm going to tune the plate off a little bit, and I'm going to show you that we're going to look for a, a, a dip in uh, plate current. We're going to look for a dip in plate current. Okay, I, I'm, I increased the power to about 10 watts so that I, you could see the dip in plate current, and there we go, it's right there. And there's the dip in plate current, as you can see right there. And generally, when you, have, when you have a dip in plate current, you do have an increase in power. So, let me show you how that, how that works out. As you can see, there's the increase in power as I dip the plate current. So right now we're getting about 120 watts out for about 10 watts in, and so we're getting a little bit more efficient now. Now I'm going to now I'm going to bring the power up to about 50 watts. The grid current should not exceed 200 mils, which would be to pin the meter. So we want to tune it up for maximum power, and we adjust the load and the plate current. This is with about 60 watts input. We have 600 watts output, which is the maximum recommended for CW. Although we'll put it up a little bit more, uh, assuming that the watt meter isn't perfect. We are now at the maximum grid current of 200 mils. As you can see, uh, we're a little over 600 watts, but I'm going to adjust the plate. I'm going to adjust the plate for a little bit, see if we get any more out of it. And there we go. We got about 650 watts. We got about 650 watts out. And I see I can adjust the grid current a little a little higher now. And we're now at maximum. We got about, uh, let's see, are we close to 700? We're almost at 700. Yeah, we are. There's our 700 watts. And how much does it take to get these 700 watts? Let's take a look. There's our 700 watts. We're just going to pan the meter up and it's taking us, we're using about 1100 watts to get it, which the efficiency isn't bad, a little bit better, a little less than 70 percent. And as I look at the grid current, I can probably increase it a little bit more, but I'm not going to go, you know, I look up at the grid current up here. I look at the grid current and I'm not peaked up in it anymore because I've adjusted the tuning, so I could probably put in a little bit more power, but I think 700 watts is pushing it right now. We're not supposed to exceed 750 mils and we're running at about uh, 700 mils right now. 700 mils and the plate voltage is about 1300 volts, roughly 1300 volts to get about 700 watts. So 700 watts output, about 1300 volts, about 730 mils, maybe a little less, about mils, and our grid current is about 175, 175 mils and let's take a look at our we're using a little over a thousand watts to get it and there's our there's our power out 
so about 700 watts and consistent it doesn't seem to go down and now we will test it on sideband and you have to realize that the power out meter reads about half of what the actual power is because of uh, the ab its ability not to be able to follow peaks so let's try that hello test one two three four five four three two one one two three four five four three two one two three four five four three two one one two three four five four three two one k one o i k testing and as you can see the peak power that I'm consuming is about 400 watts on average uh, was there a station on frequency k one o i k Uh, I'm setting up a uh, Maritron 811H uh, N1RMF K1OIK. K1OIK N1RMF. Uh, yeah, we're I'm going to take the uh, linear amplifier off, and I want to know um, uh, what the difference is. Uh, you know how much of a difference it it makes to you. So I'm going to count to ten. I'm going to count to ten with the with the amplifier on. And then I'm going to count to 10 with the amplifier off. So here we go. This is with the amplifier on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And uh, this is with the amplifier off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm kind of curious, uh, what was the difference? Go ahead. Okay, I copied that uh, pretty easily, about, uh, about 2S units. Okay.